All right, everybody, this is Ross. In today's video, we're gonna do some espalier pruning, some just beginner pruning. For people who are just starting this process and just got yourself some trees and you wanna espalier them, these are sort of the first steps because I just put these plums in the ground last spring. So they've been in the ground for about a year, only one growing season. And now it's kind of time to get them in order to then bend these branches down um, along these wires and get that espalier form looking right. And that's kind of the first step is, right, determine, you know, what tree that you want to plant, where you want to plant it, and then also set up your wire system, set up your posts. You can see I have a post over here and I have posts all the way down this fence. And these are basically just T-posts. You can get them at Home Depot, real cheap. Get the wires. I get some like 11 or 14 gauge wire. That's what you want. Um, this is great for any fruit tree, even for grapevines. You know, we could probably do with tightening up the wires and, and getting the T-posts a bit more in, in the ground and snug in the ground. Um, but this is sort of what we're gonna go with right now. And I think um, if you were thinking about doing an espalier as a backyard grower, I would go for it. Uh, because personally, I think as, you know, as a backyard grower, they're probably the most beautiful form of any fruit tree that you can grow. They really look beautiful. I have some five-year-old peaches over here that I've espalier uh, and they're just really the star of my yard. They really do look really nice. And if I had a nice terrace that was like on a slope, I would probably plant in that terrace just all kinds of uh, espalier fruit trees. Um, and it would look beautiful. It really would. Um, also, I find that they're really productive for the amount of space that they take up. We can really control them especially if we're choosing the right fruit tree like you know peaches uh, is a little bit more difficult to control the size but I've been able to do it and make them productive uh, but I would go with more things like apples and pears and plums um, you know probably ap apricots as well you can do figs you could probably even do persimmon um, what else we got around here um, you know grapevines are sort of already done this way in that they're grown in a usually a two-arm system along one wire. We have two wires here on this particular planting. On the peaches, I have a three-wire system, three tiers. And there's many different ways of doing this, right? You can do this uh, uh, you know, as a Belgian fence. Uh, there's so many methods and so many beautiful ways that I just find them to be one of the more easier things once you understand the pruning side of this whole thing. I think it's just so easy and it's just really, uh, a great thing for backyard growers. They're also just very, uh, they're not as prone to disease. I think that they have sort of good airflow, even though there's a wall or a fence or something that they're growing against. I mean, that's what an espalier is, is that you're, you're growing something against a wall or a structure. Um, so even with that, I find that the form in which they grow in is really good and conducive for the sunlight that comes in and really gets a lot of that airflow and sunlight to dry these leaves um, so that they're less disease prone. So let's kind of get into the pruning now. I want to start with this tree here and you can see as they've grown up in that first year they kind of just start out as a single stem whip and about right here on this tree I topped it off and it branched out in all different sort of weird directions. It's the same thing with this tree here. It got topped actually right here and then we allowed this main stem here to take over. It had apical dominance and it grew to be the tallest stem. And actually it branched out up here at really the perfect height. It's kind of incredible how this all worked out so well. Uh, now what I would recommend, because we do have some branches that we can bend down to about this halfway point here on this post, is that we can cut off this excess here about halfway uh, but some of the branches that I'm going to bend, like maybe this branch here, isn't exactly the longest branch. So you may want to, uh, during the season, like this branch here definitely isn't the length. If I, t if I get out of the way, it's definitely not the length. We're still missing about a foot of this wire. So what I'd recommend is that you guys may even not want to tie these down just yet. We'll just do our pruning. But because they're going to grow horizontally like this, the apical dominance is not going to be very strong at this growth point here. So what you're going to end up doing is have this branch barely grow out the length of the wire. 
So it's a better idea to even just let them grow straight up for maybe even another year if you wanted. You know, usually around year two, you can really get that form perfect on these trees. So even like next, this time next year, it would probably be perfect, but we're gonna go ahead and tie some of these down at the very least and get that form going. Um, Cause right now they really don't have a form. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna take out all this little weak, this weak growth down here that's gonna interrupt that espalier form that we want. So I'm just taking out these really weak and, and straggly branches here. And then this will show, I guess, the true form very soon because we're going to basically select a number of these branches. I really like this one here to go down on this side for this arm. And I also like this branch here to go down. So I'm gonna also cut this out. And then this branch back here is quite vigorous, but at the end of the day, it's interrupting the form. It's not going to work out in the long run. So I'm gonna actually take this out. And this is a lot of growth for some of these trees to be taking out at such a young age, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, guys. Um, don't be afraid to come in here and really prune these things heavily. So this is gonna get tied down here in just a minute, and this is gonna get tied down here in just a minute. Um, now what I'm gonna do actually is prune off that little thing there, and now I have the choice between these three. And you can't really see it on the camera, but there is a wire here that's been lodged in between these two branches, and that's not ideal. So there's some damage here. And I'm gonna cut out the branch that has the most damage, uh, which is this guy. And you can see it sort of at the bottom. Has a little bit of scar tissue here, which is not ideal for the tree. Uh, hopefully you guys can see that. Um, so we're gonna cut, we cut that one out. And there is still some scar tissue on the back. Well, actually, this one's pretty good. Yeah, no, there is some scar tissue here, but it's not like it's gonna make um, a big deal. You know, it's not really gonna be the end of the world. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get myself some of this green um, stretch tie here. You can use any material you want. You can use twine. Um, you guys can use some rubber tree tube I've used in the past. And I'm just gonna tie these branches down now. And then that's it, we're really done. Um, for the pruning of the entire year. I mean, it really took us, what, two seconds? So I'm gonna bring this down here and it's, if you can, it's always a good idea, unless the branches are really rigid. Well, we should do two ties anyway, so we just broke that one. All right, we got one right there. It's a little cold outside, guys, so my hands are not really working all that well. <laughs> all right, so let's just get this tied over here. And we can, you know, really tie this down as much as we want. Like I was saying before, is that you could really come in here sort of close to the, the center of the tree here, to that main stem, and tie that down first. We actually just lost our tie. But, um, or you could do it on the end first. And I find the ends a bit easier actually. So maybe we'll do that for the next side over here. We'll get this branch, <clears throat> we'll tie it down. And there is actually tools that you can use that make this a bit quicker. So this one's not gonna cooperate. So I'm gonna have to come in on this angle here and put it on. And you'll see that there's like a nice little bend in the, in the branch, but this over time will get itself adjusted. You won't have yourself an issue. Um, it'll look nice probably next year is really when uh, you'll start to see the shape come to life and everything really look its best. But isn't this so simple? I feel like this is just a joke. Um, anyone can really understand this. The maintenance of it is pretty low. Um, once you understand how this all works, 
it's really, really simple. And I'm gonna do one more pruning for you guys up the other tree here on your left. But that's the form. I mean, look how good that looks already. And it's, it's quite young. So I'm gonna just do some quick pruning now on this tree. And as you see here, I have a branch here that we'll use on the left. And then I have a choice. I can do this one here or I can do this one over here. But I think personally, I'd rather have this guy down here. But you can see the length of this is really far away from this midpoint. And here, I'm just gonna cut that out. So we're still about three or two feet away from that midpoint. So I'm gonna let this, this branch grow and I'm gonna take out everything above it. There's actually some nice fruiting wood here. A lot of flowers that would probably, a lot of branches that would put out some fruit. I'm just taking out the real small stuff. Um, that's it. We're going up, remember, we're going up to this top branch. I'm taking out pretty much everything along the way. Um, it's kind of crazy to think that I've been doing Aspire fruit trees now. I've been growing Aspire fruit trees for at least five years now. That's kind of crazy. Um, man, time flies. All right, so now we've got ourselves four different branches, and I, I don't really like this one here right off the bat, so we're going to take this out. And then I guess this one's right in the center. I could use it if I want, but these are pretty good here to be bending down. They still, though, unfortunately, they need some, uh, some length to them. So we're going to actually leave these. I'm not even going to tie these down. Um, I'm just going to take out a little bit of that branch there that's a little bit dead. And then we're going to leave this. We're going to leave these two. But this one here I'm going to tie down because this guy is pretty much all the way to the end. And then these other ones, they need to have that upward growth, that vertical, that vertical angle to give them that apical dominance to then continue to grow. So that's one thing I think people, and I did personally, I did this a little bit too soon, was that I tied the branches down too quickly. And you don't always want to do that. Give yourself a little bit of room here for these trees to grow vertically, have that apical dominance, that increased vigor and then we can tie them down when they get to the right height. And you can even tie them down during the season, right? You don't have to even do this now. Um, it's a little bit less work if you just do everything right now, but um, for the most part, I'm just gonna let these trees go once again. And then in year two, we're gonna come back in here and we're at the end of year two, we're gonna come back in here and pretty much do the same exact thing I just did. Clean up that whole shape, get the shape and the structure right, and then we're going to basically at that point just be setting ourselves up for production the following year. So I'm about a year away from getting um, most of the production off of these trees. So it's pretty cool how it all works out, how young it is and how productive they can be. And as I said, I think they're just really, really beautiful guys. So I hope you guys got something out of this. That was pretty simple. It took us two seconds and you can see that beautiful form there on the right. Super proud of what I've been able to do. All right, guys, we'll talk to you soon. Take care, everybody.